Hello there, my name is Alison. In this tutorial I'm going to explain how you can make field jobs and use reports on field margin. Field jobs let you record farm work specific to what you do in your fields. You can set up work categories and include inputs in a structured way so that they can be used for reporting. These instructions are for mobile. From the main screen here, tap the add a field job button. Next you can choose a job type. This is optional, but it allows you to keep your information organised for reporting later. So now add a job title. So now we can add the field or fields you'd like to add to the job by selecting the field names from the list or by choosing the fields on the map. You can choose to add as many fields as you need. Here you have the option to manually enter a work area for each field by tapping the three dots next to the area. This means the input required can be calculated accurately. Now in this section, you can add an input. An input is anything that you would apply to your field, such as seeds, sprays, or fertilizers. So first choose, create new input, choose an input name, select a unit and give the input a type. So tap, create. Next, you can enter the rate of this input and the total will be calculated using your total work area. You can add as many different inputs to a field job as you require. This is useful if you're spraying a product mix. You can tag team members to field jobs to allocate farm work. So tap tagged and select the team members from the list here. You also have the option to add a due date. To do this, tap due date and input the date details. You can edit the due date if plans change due to circumstances or weather. So there you go, tap save and your field job has been set. So now to view your field job. So you can view the jobs on your to-do list. So open your to-do list by tapping the to-do icon at the bottom of your screen. Tap the job to open it up for details. When you've done the work, tap mark complete. The time completed will be saved and anyone who is tagged in the job will receive a notification. You can scroll down and edit the completed date if required. So now I'm going to show you how you can view your field history and inputs on mobile. So choose the field you're interested in by selecting the name on the field list or by tapping the field on the map. On the to do tab, you can view jobs and tasks that need doing in this field. Tap the history tab to view jobs and tasks that have been completed in this field. If you need more information, tap the job to open it and view details and make edits. Select the input tab to view your fields, inputs and rates. Inputs are separated by type, so here you've got seed, spray and fertilising. You can choose to view all jobs, incomplete jobs and complete jobs. Tap the drop down menu to the right of an input to view which jobs this input has been tagged in. If it's been used in multiple jobs, these will all be listed here. So there you have it. By making a field job, you started with the basic for your records. You can find instructions on how to take this a step further in our other video called Farm Records and Reporting. So thank you very much for listening. One of us should be around if you want to talk to us today here at Serials. And if you sign up during the event, you get the first four months for half price.